In this episode, we'll find out about a wolf's home, the land where it lives, hunts for its food, and raises its family, and an area it will defend in any way it can. Pretty much the whole of a wolf's life is spent within its territory, and much like your own home, it's very important that it's protected from others. Because Maddie and Ridian are both wolf bloods and have the same senses as the wolves in the wild, they're also highly aware of the key places that belong to some wolf bloods, but not others. And when they do find other wolf bloods on their territory, it's vital they act quickly to defend their space. So when Ridian was a new boy at school, Maddie didn't waste a minute in finding out who was trespassing on her turf. My name is Mr. Jeffries. I'm your head of year, as well as your form tutor, so you will be seeing a lot of me over the next year. <laughs> Everyone! This is Ridian Morris, who I am guessing is from Wales. No. No. <laughs> okay, he's not from Wales, okay? Sue me. Right, everyone. You smell like my parents. <laughs> Sit down, thank you. Ready, and you too. Quiet, everyone. Quiet! Jenny! Wake up! She finally managed to catch up and confront him. What are you doing here? What? I'm looking for the Not fish. here, on our territory. Don't you know the rules? You can't stay here if my mum and dad get a sniff of you. I don't even know you. Exactly. I don't care whose territory this is. I'm not sticking around anyway. I mean, why would I in this dump? But no smelly girl tells me when to stay or go. Ridian's a strange wolf blood, unknown to Maddie and her family, so he shouldn't really be trespassing on her territory. She had to have strong words with him to warn him and let him know he should leave. Wolves don't like other unknown wolves on their land either. They pretty much like to keep it just for themselves and their families. And that's because for wolves, guarding territory is essential in order to safeguard their food supply and protect their family. They don't want other wolves coming onto their land and taking down prey that could be theirs or threatening their cubs. The size of a wolf's territory often depends on how many wolves are in the family group and how their prey is distributed. The larger the wolf pack and the more spread out the prey, the more land they need. Some territories are quite small, just 13 square miles, but others can be enormous. Some are four times the size of London. So how do they go about protecting these often huge areas? One of the main things they do is to wee on their trails and boundaries. A clear, smelly signal telling other wolves who owns this land and a warning to keep out. The pack leaders do most of this scent marking. They leave a patch of urine every couple of hundred metres or so, a trail of unmissable signposts. The smell lasts up to three weeks, so it's perfect for protecting large areas. Along the boundaries, where they are most likely to come into contact with their neighbours, the wolves scent mark twice as often. They also use droppings, as well as urine, as a double warning to intruders. Wolves make sure that really important places such as the den site, where their pups are born, are kept well away from these borders to reduce the chance of hostile encounters. Wolves have scent glands in their paws as well, and they'll scratch at the ground to release the smell. 
these scent glands also help them remember the best ways through their territory. By constantly marking their front line in these ways, wolves try to protect their territory and all that matters to them. So it's not really a surprise that Maddie warned Riddy enough. It was just her wolf blood way of marking her territory. But sometimes the simple warnings just aren't enough. Sometimes it's inevitable that boundaries will be crossed and territories invaded. And that's when things get serious. That's when secrets get let out that have been kept hidden for years. When Shannon sprayed the scent in the woods to attract the wild wolves, Maddie was forced to transform to protect her territory and her friends from Ridian's wolf blood mum. Ridian had to get involved to make sure that neither his mum nor Maddie ended up getting hurt, but it meant that they had to reveal their true wolf blood secret to their best friends. It's okay. It's the chemicals. It makes you see things. I'll it's give not it up, you... Maddie. They know. This is my mum, Kerry, and my brother, Bryn. We're all wolf bloods. Like Maddie. What happened? Your secret's out. You did this. We invite you into our pack and you've destroyed everything! Stop it! Stop it! Mum! You need to leave our territory! Mum, no! It's all right, Maddie. She's right, I don't belong here. Maddie had to go to extremes and ended up fighting Ridian's mum to get her to back off. And that's because she was acting on her wolf-like instincts. When a wolf's scent markings have been ignored and her territory is under very real threat, they'll step it up a gear and clash with whoever they find on their patch. If wolves can't find enough to eat and they're desperately hungry, they will enter another wolf's land. When wolves from different groups do meet up, Usually their defence may involve no more than intimidating the outsiders by growling and showing their teeth. But at times, a chase may happen, and in extreme situations, that chase may end in a fight. They will kill other wolves they find trespassing on their property. And it's not just wolves. Any animal daring to steal the pack's food will provoke an attack, as this coyote found out to his cost. <laughs> Protecting their land and their food is so important that they're even prepared to take on animals much bigger than they are, and large, dangerous grizzly bears are no exception. So a secure and well-defended territory is key to a wolf's success in the wild, protecting both their family and their food. And it's the same with wolf bloods. They don't like other wolf bloods coming onto their land either, so it makes them both a powerful force to be reckoned with. <laughs> What are you doing here? You're on Maddie's territory. What will the tame wolf bloods do about it? 